a prodigy rock climber. By age 8, he had scaled the face of the 11,627-foot Mount Temple in the Canadian Rockies, and by 17, he was acknowledged to be one of the best climbers in the United States. In January 1982, after having ascended a difficult technical ice route in Huntington Ravine on Mount Washington in New Hampshire, Hugh Herr and a fellow climber, Jeff Badzer, were caught in a blizzard and became disoriented, ultimately descending into the Great Gulf where they passed three nights in minus 23. 9 degrees Celsius. By the time they were rescued, the climbers had suffered severe frostbite. Both legs of Hugh Herr had to be amputated below the knees. His companion lost his lower left leg and the toes on his right foot and the fingers on his right hand. While a postdoctoral fellow at MIT in the biomedical devices. He began working on advanced leg prosthesis and orthosis, devices that emulate the functionality of the human leg. Using specialized prosthesis that he designed, he created prosthetic feet with high toe stiffness that made it possible to stand on small rock edges the width of a coin and titanium spiked feet that assisted him in ascending steep ice walls. He used this prosthesis to alter his height to avoid awkward body positions and to grab the hand and foot holds previously out of reach. His height could range from 5 to 8 feet. As a result of using the prosthesis, Hugh Herr climbed at a more advanced level than he had before the accident, making him the first person with a major amputation to perform in a sport on par with elite-level, able-bodied persons. 